Hey everybody, David here, and I just wanted to do a little video about, you know, people that might be feeling a little down because they might be alone or something. You know, once in a while I like to get away from the movie subjects, even though that's the subject I like to talk about m the most is my favorite movies and TV shows and stuff like that. I like to sometimes get on a subject that might, uh, you know, motivate others or something like that. And because I was just reading an article online of someone that was depressed and, and it seemed like this person was uh, not, you know, feeling the love at school and stuff like that. And I thought, you know, I, I can relate to stuff like that because I used to be a student in school, obviously, at one point. And, um, you know, I wasn't the most popular kid in school. I was the shy kid that didn't have too many friends and uh, I usually stood to myself and was pretty quiet you know I I was picked on quite a lot and uh, you know I, I feel that a lot of that really helped me grow into a more stronger person as years go by and you hear about this stuff on the news you know about people doing bad things and losing control of themselves and that never happened to me thank goodness and i'm i'm i i feel sad for people that you know are out there struggling with friends and stuff like that because i i know how that feels and i was in that position and i just want to you know kind of say like don't worry if you feel like the weird person in school like if you are somebody that, you know, don't, don't, you don't have a lot of friends or you, you feel alone once in a while, you feel like nobody gets you uh, because you maybe like something that a lot of people don't. Like me, you know, I'm, I'm the 32 year old that still watches Power Rangers, okay? Uh, maybe not as much as I used to, but, you know, I still have the DVDs and everything. I go back and watch some of the old school Power Rangers stuff. And believe me, that show took like 17 years of my life, so, and I'm still attached to it. I still go back for, not just, yeah, well, for nostalgia reasons and check it out, you know? And I still enjoy it, and if you like something different like that, don't let that bring you down. And if people are giving you a hard time for that in school, like, screw them. Say, fuck you, man. Like, what, you're making fun of me because I like something that you don't? Like, it's only a movie, or it's only a TV show, or it's only, a, you know, different music. It's, it's taste, and people shouldn't be poking fun at you at that. And if it's more to do than just personal taste, if they're just picking on you, just so they could be douchebags, try to find somebody that will defend you a bit. If you see somebody in class that's like, I had a couple of people defend me in, in my school, you know, when I was in grade school. And these people, you know, I, I, I look back at it now and I wish, you know, I would have uh, became more closer as friends to them. But, you know, what's done is done. But believe me, as you get older and you become more confident, things do get a little bit more easier in, in life. Not all the time. There's always going to be assholes in your life, like even, you know, 32 year old right now, once in a while, I, I do meet an asshole that I'm more talkative now. And I can like try to avoid that person if I want, because I'm old enough to do whatever the fuck I want, you know? So if you're just having trouble, just know that keep it cool. Always remember to follow your heart and don't, as long as you are not hurting other people, that's the good thing. Always try to put yourself, not above others, but say, you know what, this guy doesn't understand me, so you know what, screw him. He can think whatever, or she can think whatever they want about me. And if it feels, if they feel like, you know, they want to make fun of me, let them make fun of you. Just like, because you know who you are. And that's the important thing. As long as you know the type of person you are, that you're a good person, and that you don't hurt anybody like they do, 
that's what will make you a better person. And just like I said, don't worry about them because one day you are going to follow your own path right now. And once you're out of school, it's going to be all right. Believe me. Um, look, I'm not, I'm not, I always had dreams to be an actor. And obviously I'm not there yet, but I'm still working on things. Like I'm still, you know, doing my own little short films. I'm doing videos like this on YouTube to not just for myself, but to hopefully that other people can connect to. And uh, so hopefully this video will kind of help people out there that that need that kind of influence and uh, just be strong and, and do your best. And that's all I can say, guys. So I am getting ready for an Arrow review tonight. So if you like the show Arrow, like I do, check it out. It's, you know, I like the superhero genre. And one of the reasons why I love superheroes is because they are people that wear a costume that, you know, nobody really knows the real them. But they're good people that want to help others. And that's what these videos are for. For me to kind of cheer people up if they really want to. I mean, I might not be the funniest person for everybody. But I know I have a sense of humor, a light sense of humor that a lot of people will probably enjoy. That's why I like... <laughs> I try not to swear too much on my videos because I know... You never know who's watching and... But this video, I decide to swear because it kind of pisses me off when uh, other people are being hurt out there. So, um, yeah, guys, take care. And uh, if you like Arrow, like I said, check out my review tonight. I'm going to post that up right after the episode airs, which is in, it's going to start in half an hour. Totally excited. And uh, subscribe to my channel, especially if you love... Flash, Arrow, or Legends of Tomorrow. I review those three shows all the time. And I review countless movies. So, until next time, take care.